Okay, so looking at problem one, we've got a jar with 200 marbles. Ryan takes a sample of 50 marbles. We're gonna take those two numbers. Those are our holes for two different ratios. In the jar, it's a total of 200. In the sample, we know there's 50. And why do I have this eight here? Because the rest of the problem says he finds 22 blue, 10 green, eight red, and 10 white. Then the question is right here. How many red marbles can he assume are in the entire jar? So once I have this set up, I'm looking for how many red marbles we think are in the jar based on his sample. We're gonna either cross multiply, eight times 200 divided by 50, right? That's one way we could do it. I'm also looking at the relationship between 50 and 200. How many 50s are in 200? There's four. So if I do four times eight, I'm also gonna get my answer. Let's do it the long way first and double check. So if I do eight times 200, that would be the cross multiplying. And if I divide by 50, oops, and if I could calculate right, eight times 200 divided by 50, I'm getting 32, okay? <laughs> So there are, we assume based on his sample, that there are 32 red marbles in the jar. Again, another way I could do this is look at the relationship between 50 and 200. There's four 50s and 200, so if I just multiply eight times four, I would get 32. What do you guys think would happen if I divided eight by 50? I wonder what would happen there. Yeah, that's getting me the percent, which is 16. That's 16 out of 100. Double 16 is 200. So it's another way of thinking about, if I figure out the percent, I could also figure out out of 200 because 100 times two is 200. The next question is, how many blue marbles are in his jar? So we're gonna set it up the same way. We're gonna set up the jar as X over 200. We know his sample was 50. We have to go back to the problem and see how many blues there were, and there were 22. So again, a few different ways to do this. I can do 22 times four in my head because two times four is eight. So 22 times four would be 88. So 88 blues. Then the problem gets a little bit more complex, and this is why I really wanted to talk about it. Ryan buys another bag of the same kind of marbles and adds it to his jar. He now has 650 marbles. How many of them can be expected to be white? Well, his new jar is 650. We're looking this time for white. And he had in his original sample 10 whites. 10 out of how many? Well, it was 10 out of his sample of 50. Okay, now I can't do this one in my head. I've got one times 650. I'm not, I just did 10 times, I did one times instead of 10. 10 times 650, and I get 6,500, and I'm gonna divide by 50, and I get 130. We can assume that there's probably about 130 white marbles. And finally, if we have 650 in his new set, and it's a similar proportions to his first set, how many will be green? Well, there were 10 green. Do I have to calculate this again, or is it gonna be the same? same. Yeah, we're gonna have about 130 green.